Hey guys, uh, felt compelled to do a first impressions vid for Power Strike 1 and 2. Um, as you would have seen from my other vid, um, just posted recently, I have only just got to play these games and are oh, totally, totally blown away. More so by Power Strike 2, it outdoes many Mega Drive games and I challenge anyone to find anything with better graphics on the Master System than this, just absolutely epic. But I'll start with Power Strike 1. This is the harder of the two, it's the first one, it's a direct port or almost of the um, game Alist from the MSX. Uh, apparently it's got one weapon changed round, it's different from the MSX version and something like the um, cityscape at the start of uh, stage one is missing but I tell you what, I was absolutely amazed at how there was, how frantic the game was. This is a hectic, hectic shooter. It's so fun, so tight, the, the controls. But um, no slowdown. Zilch. Um, I've only played up to stage 3. They ramp it up at stage 3. And the music in stage 3 is awesome. Um, the only thing is... You, you got a, Another amazing thing is you've got eight weapons to choose from. There's sort of a mixture of a variety of um, lasers or plasma balls. But uh, really cool. But the thing is, each one has like a, a time frame. So you get your secondary weapon, and you've got a countdown basically, something like 80 seconds, and um, you can just be left in the lurch. You know, if that runs out in the midst of battle, and um, uh, and also when you shoot the power ups, they're at the top of the screen. They instantly float to the top. So that makes it like kamikaze missions up to the top to get your weapons. Um, you know, it's just, I uh, don't like it at all. Uh, you know, to get your secondary weapons, you shouldn't have to just put yourself in that situation because they just, you, it, it's almost encouraging you to stop firing for a bit, which is impossible because there's so many enemies, but so as not to let the, um, shoot the power-ups before they float, if you know what I mean. So that's a, just a bit of a ne negative aspect that gets a bit of a pain in the ass that your we secondary weapon runs out and um, that they float up to the screen, uh, to the top of the screen almost instantaneous, instantaneously. Uh, it's like, the boss battles aren't too uh, notable, mainly ground bases and stuff, um, still fun like, um, but not sort of animated uh, bosses that, you know, move around etc. But uh, as I said, uh, it's made a first impression. Um, third stage kicked my ass. The thing is, you also lose all your power-ups <laughs> if you die. So there's a limited continue feature in this, but it's almost pointless when you get to say, even stage three. And uh, you know, you just get worked if you're just not powered up. And that's the case with the other release games, sort of like Musha. And I, I don't mind that um, because you know this game can be one credit cleared, uh, apparently. You know, it's not impossible, and um, you just have to put your groundwork into this game. So impressed. Such such a great game. Six levels all up, so halfway through, and it's, you know, definitely difficulties up there. But this, this is where it's at. Power Strike 2. You know, I've read that this has the best graphics. And um, another amazing thing about this, no slowdown, no flicker, fast as, there's a million things on screen, it's just epic, like, uh, you got six weapons in this, and they've improved on Power Strike 1 big time. Uh, di slightly different weapons, but they're in infinite once you've got them, and if you power, you can power them up to six times, and if you die you just get knocked back to half of that, and um, so you can keep them, and plus when you shoot the power ups, they float down, I mean the secondary weapon um, icons, they float down so you, you can get them. And um, just like other release games, I forgot to mention in part one too, you've got these like um, pods that spill out these pill type things and that powers up your first, uh, your primary rep weapon. Um, in addition to all that, you, you hold down the fire button and um, you charge this other shot and when you release it, you release this sort of mega shot thing that helps clear the screen and becomes really uh, handy and, you know, for some stra strategy there. But just the level design, the, the bosses are epic. Like, uh, this, as I said, this looks better than a lot of Mega Drive games I've played. And, um, and, the, and <laughs> the SNES would struggle so much with the pace of this game. Uh, 
I've got up to level 5. I, I really gave this a good nudge. Level 4, it took me about 7 tries to, um, to pass it. But I, I wanted to come back for more because each time I'd just get that much better and learn about it. And it was just so much fun. And then you get to this boss battle who's got 3 phases and it's just epic. And that stage has just stuck out as one of the best stages I've ever played in any shmup. And uh, oh, it's just blowing me away. Apparently, uh, there's around about eight stages in this game, so it's so much to look forward to. Uh, this game came out in 1993. You know, well, practically well after the death rattle of the Master System for sure. So, um, well, commercially at least. So it's amazing that Compile even released this. They've obviously put a lot of effort into it. It's such an amazing game. And that's why this game is so expensive. It's so rare and it's the best shooter on the Master System, no doubt about it. Um, I, I'm not braggy. I've got two copies of it. But, um, you know, I was thinking, you know, I could at least... I could probably get 100 US at least... Um, for one of my copies without a manual, but it's that good. I sort of want to hold on to it. I have a few games that I consider so good I want two copies of, just in case something happens, and this is now in that category. Uh, epic, epic uh, shmup, this. Um, oh, another great thing about this, on my Master System, I like using the uh, Mega Drive controller. My, you know, big hands, bigger controller. love the Mega Drive controller, and... Um, on the options screen, you can use your, so it's only one button using this, um, primary and secondary weapons work off that, and um, then you release for the other shot. But the second button, you can either configure your ship's speed on the options menu, and um, you know you can use that throughout the game to change on the fly. But also you can um, configure it to be a pause button, which, many more Master System games should have done. So, you know, I don't have to reach down to the console and push pause. You know, I can just do it on my pad. So that's really cool. Uh, I don't have the manual for this, but um, it's a different story than um, Power Strike 1. You know, remember I did those, you know, beat this blurb thing? This one's got a bit of a doozy. I'll just read the first wee bit. Scientists have accidentally unleashed a botched gen genetic experiment into the environment. Monster plants with super intelligence intent on taking over the earth. It's a biologist's worst nightmare, giving new meaning to the term greenhouse effect. To accomplish your goal of domination, the, the plant, blah blah blah. So it's, it gets the typical story from there, but I like that wee bit, giving new meaning to greenhouse effect. You know, this is an environmentally aware game back in the day. That was 19, 1988 that game came out. 1993 for Power Strike 2. If you do see this, you know, and if you do have to pay a wee bit, just grab it, man. It's so awesome. Um, once again, guys, this is just a first impression bit of these two games, but I'm just so, so impressed. And one last thing I'll have to say is that Power Strike, or that, you know, it's it's not as good as Power Strike 2, of all the um, things I said, but it's got better music. This is much more memorable and better composed uh, music. You know, I'm not just being biased, you know, with the intro with the 8-bit uh, Musha tune, but you get the stage three, it's this imposing music, and it just fits the page, uh, stage perfectly, and they're all diverse, but this, I remember at stage four, you know, having to repeat the stage to get past it over and over, that uh, the tune did get to me. It was a bit irritating, and um, that's the only, only downside about Power Strike 2 that I can pick out. So there you go guys, as you can tell I'm pretty excited about it, um, the two games and try and find them, absolute awesome games. And funny, one of the other must have shmups which is, is R-Type on the Master System which is a great port, you know people like R-Type, people don't, but it was actually bought to the Master System by Compile as well, so good on you Compile, awesome. Okay guys, running out of time here, I'll catch up.